okay finally here we are creating a sketch web project to display the data we stored in mysql data database sorry mysql database the the data we stored in the mysql table so we we creating a sketch web project to display them so here i created a project already there is a list view here that is connected to a custom view named cus you can see the custom view here so it's just me displaying the name the email and the phone okay this tree is not very necessary but if you just want it to look good anything the ui it's fine that is you can do that okay so here we're going to the logic there's no more block nothing nothing so you know complex it's just a very basic stuff so the the substring thing here is um, it's not really necessary though it, it's simply because i'm trying to display the data in some in some way anyway i shared the project i'm going to share the project in because i think some people might still need the project even after explaining this but this is really you know easy okay so what we actually did here is we got the response okay and then we come the, the json response and then we put it in a list map okay that is basically what we did here then the substring like i said it's not really very necessary so list view this is the list view set custom view that is the list map so we're setting all of the data the json data we converted to map we're going to set it in a list view that is what we did here and then here on bind custom view this is the name email and phone that i showed you in the custom view so we are simply going to display it you know so we going to set the position of the key to uh, in the list map we're going to get it and display it in the name gets position key email that is in the list map we're going to also display it in the email and then the phone too so this one down here this very one it's uh, really not necessary just like the substring stuff this is not necessary i'm just um changing the color of the number the the mobile number the the number on the display you're going to see it after i've run it you're going to see what i mean so on create we only going to because we, we added the request network component here called m okay so here we join we're going to use a component block this down one here so we get the name of the network we are requesting and then we use get here okay start ne uh, requ uh, requ network request to method get because we're getting data then this is the url this is the url okay remember the url that i asked you to copy from zero zero post then we define them at the end of it this is it with a tag a just added a tag you know to get the data so that is that is all that is here we run the project you see what it looks like running the project installing And finally we open the project okay so this is the data you can see it displayed fine this is data from the mysql table so this is the phone number that i said i was changing the color because there is this is nigerian um, phone number 234 it has to contain 234 it always have to come with 234 so that is why i said if number contains two then change the color so it's pretty simple and it's not necessary you don't really need to do that but since I'm sharing the project, if you think you need to do it, fine. It's okay. Okay, so that is all that is here. It's not really a big deal. Okay, the schedule part is not a big deal at all. I hope you understand it though. If you don't, you can ask questions in the comment section.